so, so do you speak some? <coughs> So first I'd like to offer my obeisances to my Diksha Guru, Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, and to my Shiksha Guru, Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj. Um, as we know, in the heart of all jivas there's Krishna Prema, but it's very covered, it's in a potential form. And so there has to be something special come to awaken this Krishna Prema, or we might say to uncover this Krishna Prema. And this Krishna Prema is found in the heart of the Vrajabhasis. Maharaj has been giving such nice classes in Mathura explaining this Krishna Prema. And we have one such Vrajabhasi with us, Maharaj. And so he's come and he's sprinkling this Krishna Prema all over the world. And we're so, so fortunate. But it's such a rare opportunity. He's been explaining in Mathura um, the um, message of Uddhava to the gopis. And this um, Uddhava came to Braj and he saw the gopis, but he's himself saying that he actually didn't get the association of the gopis. And why? Because he couldn't pick up the mood of the gopis. And this is explained because when he offered his prayers uh, glorifying the gopis, he just desired their mercy. He didn't desire to become like the gopis, actually. He just desired to be a blade of grass and get their mercy. You see, he didn't desire to follow in their footsteps. And when he was in Braj, he was actually afraid. He was thinking that gopis are crying and they're unhappy. I don't want to be like this. And so he left Braj and he never went back. So one who wants to follow in the footsteps of the gopis and attain this Braj praying, this Krishna praying, then one has to actually follow the mood of the gopis. And Maharaj just wants to give this mood to everyone. So we have to beg that we can actually take up this mood that Maharaj is trying to give us. And it says in the Chaitanya Charitamrita that even Krishna himself cannot understand the mood of his devotees and the Krishna praying of his devotees. So he comes as Mahaprabhu to taste this mood, to try and understand it. And Chaitanya Charitamrita says that this Krishna prema, it dances, and the heart of the devotee dances, and Krishna himself dances. They're all dancing together. So if we can pick up this mood, then we'll also be dancing. You can see our faces will be dancing, we'll be dancing, we'll be so happy. So we just beg that we can take up this mood that Mara is trying to give us. C'est tellement rare de rencontrer une telle personne qui a cet amour de Dieu, c'est Krishna Prima et qui va dans le monde entier, qui, qui asperge tout le monde, tous ceux qui le veulent bien, avec cet amour. Il dit, cet amour de, de, de Krishna, il vient de Vrindavan, seulement les habitants de Vrindavan en ont, ce Raja Prema, et Maharaj est un... Sajitam Savadutam Parijan Saitam Krishna Chaitan Deva Shri Radha Krishna Padam Savanadita Sri Sakhan Vitamsha All the living entities in lakhs and lakhs words, all are part and parcel of so prem personality of Godhead Krishna. <coughs> we have forgotten Krishna. For so many births. So, Krishna becomes worried that my eternal servants are suffering so much in this world again and again. 
they are taking birth not in human shape but also like pig hogs dogs creepers plants sometimes goddesses sometimes human always searching <coughs> happiness and peace of mind but they are not attaining that i want that they should come and serve of me and be eternally happiness but they don't give me chance that i should take them in globe vrindavan so he <coughs> always in worry for us out of his out of his mercy unconditional mercy sometimes he gives us human form very beautiful some intelligence some sense is senses associate in this world sometimes he sends some his incarnations in this world like ramchandra nishinga sometimes his vibhuti vibhuti like jesus christ like others like buddha like others sometimes he is associated like narad vyas sudev goswami and others and gives his message that he should tell them that you have forgotten me really you are not this material body so if you want eternal bliss and eternal happiness you should associate with any bona fide vaishnav and guru krishna will arrange for this you cannot do anything so krishna arranges this all these things he sends in this world and in crores and crores worlds so many incarnations so many associates sometimes he comes in the shape of golden sachinandan gaurhari with rairamanand swarup damodar roop sanatan and pitches in this whole world whether you are qualified or not he sprinkles his mercy but like jagai and madhai we don't want his mercy sometimes we become opposite to devotees oh he is our enemy because he is disturbing sin or eat drink and be merry like once indra he made some offense in the lotus feet of his guru dev brihaspati and for this fault he became hog and came to this world he was wandering and roaming here and there he collected so many she hogs and so many pigs so many sons and daughters thousands of and he was so happy though he was taking his soul sub human persons and always like down in the dry dry drains eating marrying 
only these things. Brahma was coming to this world and he saw that Indra with so many she hawks and so many children, peasants, he is <coughs> so happy. He is absorbed in all these things and thinking that I am only so happy that I have so many wives, children, and I am free from all bindings. But Brahma saw, he showed, because he realized so. So he saw and called, O oh Indra, what you are doing? This nonsense. Indra, as a hawk, he was looking here and there. Who is calling me? Indra. I am hog. I am so happy. He told that you are not hog. Really, you are Indra. And you live always in heaven with your wife and your children. There you live. Only you talk, taste their Amrita. Nectar. Nectar only. So beautiful garden, so, so many things. And you are we you were so powerful. Hmm? But you have become this dirty uh, hog. I want that you should return to your home. He told them, I'm happy here. I don't know who was Indra and who is Indra. I'm happy with my children and wife and okay. I don't want to go anywhere. <coughs> he told that, oh, I'm making some arrangement. And he took water from his Kamandalu. Kamandalu means? Mm. Water, 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 water pot. And I sprinkle with mantra. First he took one, of, one, of, one by one his all sons and daughters. And he threw out his all sons and all their dad. Will you go now? He replied that no. So many children will come in a month. So many. I don't want to go. My wife, so many wives are here. <coughs> some, na some are pregnant, some will be pregnant, and thus again we will be like that. Then he took one by one his wives and began to kill them. All were killed, then he told them, now you will go, never, I will collect more wives. <laughs> then he sprinkled some water with mantra and oh, I am Indra. I am in this um, peak, a hog shape, taking so many bad things. So I want to go. Then he began to pray Brahma that, Oh Brahma, you are my father, so please be merciful to take me to heaven. Then Brahma again took some water and sprinkled with mantra and he left his body and at once quickly he went to Swarga. But we are not coming from Swarga. Really we are eternal servant of Krishna in Vrindavan. Those who have come in the line of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in the line of Srila Rupusan, in the line of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Srila Prabhupada Bhakti, Siddhan Saraswati, in line of our Gurudev, in line of Srila Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. They are so much fortunate that they are inhabitants of, they will be the inhabitants of Golok Vrindavan. Anyhow, he will manage to take us there. So be ready. 
You are all inhabitants of here. By your constitution, we are all servants of Krishna. That is why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came only 500 years before. And he left a Guru Parampara. And all Guru Parampara, especially Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, he ordered his disciples to preach all over the world, Western countries, Eastern countries, everywhere. And that is why he sent so many. Among them, Srila Bhakti Vedan Swami was so prominent that in a few years, he established so many preaching centers in the whole world, so many temples, and he met so many disciples here and there. It is a very wonderful thing. In the whole world, where I went, I saw that. Oh, very beautiful disciples are here and there. But when Swamiji left this world and joined Krishna in Vrindavan, then some of disciples, prominence, they began to fall down. Because they won, they knew that we are also liberated. And we are so powerful. And that is why they think, thought that, oh, we have become a child like more than our Gurudev. And that is why they began to fall down. They were not caring of uh, common devotees. And that is why so many devotees came out of his school here and there. But they wanted to serve their Guru, Sri Bhaktivedanta Swami, or Radha and Krishna and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Swami Maharaj ordered me in his last breath that I want that you should uh, associate with my disciples and you should help them. I never wanted to give up Vrindavan. I wanted to be in Vrindavan and to chant and remember in lonely place and I was satisfied. But I'm, I was also I am not a so learned person or a very high class of devotee, and like you all. But Krishna wanted, Mahaprabhu wanted, and also Swamiji or Guruji. And they have dragged me to all these countries to help you. I am happy that knowingly or unknowingly, by their mercies, I am helping them. I've help, I want to help all the devotees without cost and greed, whether they are my disciples or not. I never wanted any disciple, but some forced me to take disciple. So without any gain, worldly gain, I want to help you all. And you should be always very energetic and a strong will that in very life will proceed so much in bhakti. Without bhakti, anyone in this world cannot be happy in any birth. So, there is only one path especially for we who are fallen so much. And that, and that is to chant name. 
whether we are qualified or not. This name will make us qualified. Because Krishna name, Hare Krishna name, is himself Radha and Krishna. So he will arrange everything to go step by step. First Shraddha will come, then Shraddha Sang will be done, and after that again Shraddha Sang, and then Guru Diksha initiations, again something learning from Gurudev, he will teach all things, how to do bhakti, and then again bhajan kriya, then removing of all the options and an unearth, unwanted thing, and thus gradually nishtha will come, and after nishtha a ruchi will come, taste will come, and after that asakti, asakti, wow. attachment. First attachment in chanting name, remembering Krishna, worshipping, and all kinds of bhakti, especially in nine or five. Very attraction will come. And when our heart will be clear, Krishna will arrange that our heart will be clear, then from the hearts of um, eternal associate, or real bhakti will come. That is called Suddha Sattva. And then no fear for falling. So I have come to help you. And if I am helping you and you are gaining something, then I will think that my preaching and coming to West is successful. I think that uh, from tomorrow we will make classes and try to come more and more devotees to here. Now he will talk. Tous les êtres, tous les jivas, dans tous les univers de. Carob is from India. It's, uh, it's not chocolate. <laughs> it looks like chocolate, yeah, but it's, it's not chocolate. Is it made up? It's powder, butter, sugar, and, and carob. This is one, one carob bean from India. White and orange. He has this long, long black seed. I met you in Holland? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this year? Yeah, just now. <laughs> Yesterday. No. Yeah, it's all ah. <laughs> But she was somewhat bigger, longer than you. <laughs> same face, same thing. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> Senior devotee. <laughs> 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 Akila Purusha from Italy. Yes. So, when is coming? When is coming? Okay.
Because you came, it is sunny. They announced rain for today, pouring rain. It was raining this morning, and then see this morning because you were coming, then the sun has appeared. Very good, very good. Is it like a castle? Like a castle, like a country. Though.
ब्राह्मण वैष्णव ईद ददा कृपया करी शशि मैंने इसको बुला दो जी आप मेरी तरफ से जो कीजिए मैं आपके जथाभित दान दक्षिणा दे रहा हूँ पति Oh, 
Darwin, it is easy. Raghavan, put your head back. Mm. Mm. 